Dr. Jen is back and some encouraging news about the HPV vaccine and its effects. So remember, first of all, HPV, human papillomavirus, by the age of 50, 80% of men and women will have been exposed to this virus. Most of us get exposed sometime in our lifetime from skin to skin contact, prolonged sexual contact, really just skin to skin. And I want to emphasize that most of us clear the virus, but some people go on to develop HPV related cancers, oral, vaginal, vulvar, anal, penile cancers. Um, the HPV vaccine, which was approved in this country back in 2006, now we have data, and I don't want to get bogged down in the numbers in this British Medical Journal article, but basically they showed over 600 cases of HPV-related cancers in the UK have been prevented over a significant period of time with the use of this vaccine. I've spoken to oncologists who say, and I quote, in the world of cancer, this is the single greatest advance in the last century. So again, in this country, it's approved for boys and girls. It's approved for adults up to age 45. So I think when you talk about what we can do to prevent certain types of cancer, even the less common ones, this has got to be at the top of the list. Any concerns about the vaccination? Uh, no. My concern is actually that people have difficulty uncoupling medicine and science from social behavior, and unfortunately that, that shouldn't happen. But uh, parents should talk to their child's pediatricians about it. And if you're older than a child, know that you are FDA approved to age 45. All right, thank you very much. We you appreciate bet. it.